This is the little air dryer canister that I've uh, put together based on some uh, YouTube videos. The uh, canister is a whole house water filter. It's rated at 125 PSI. However, I'm regulating it down to about 70 or 80 just to be on the safe side. I did uh, set up the system and left it charged for I guess two hours at uh, 90 PSI and there were no cracks and it's fairly uh, well made. The uh, plumbing is a uh, quick connect that comes from the holding tank through a little uh, regulator valve with a uh, gauge. It goes into the out port of the uh, water filter and then it travels down, the air travels down this uh, gray pipe which is a sprinkler fitting and a coupling. The coupling had to be bored out at the top and then epoxy to the uh, inner part of the uh, filter housing. The uh, air then comes down and I uh, took an old coupling or an old cap and then drilled out several holes on the bottom so the air will come out, diffuse up through the uh, silicone gel and then it actually goes out the import and I've got it here going through a small filter and then a quick connect which will take it over to the uh, plasma cutter. Uh, the materials I've used uh, for the filter are little pieces of Scotch-Brite um, scouring pads. I had picked up this uh, circle cutter online. It's a Japanese product for cutting paper and uh, filters or uh, other items and it makes a very nice uh, outer circumference. It's got a razor blade built into it. Then I took a uh, hole saw uh, approximately the size of the pipe and then tapped it with a hammer and got the inner lumen. The uh, cost is about um, $11 for the filter housing the blue gel was, uh, I think, $20 online. And these pipes and fittings are available at uh, probably Harbor Freight or Home Depot. I had them in stock, so uh, it didn't cost me anything. Anyway, that's the filter set up the way it uh, is working now. And I have tested it at about 80 PSI, and it doesn't explode or crack.